In this video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of what I feel to be an easier and more intuitive way of installing a database. So the first thing we're going to do after connecting to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is to verify our databases. So if I go to the left-hand navigation object explorer and open up databases, we can see I don't have the pubs database. So what I want to do to get that pubs database installed is to go to file and open file. So I'm going to browse to the folder that I downloaded through that class link and I'm just using pubs as the demonstration here as opposed to Northwind but the procedure would be exactly the same for Northwind. So if I go to open file and browse to my folder which by the way has been already extracted or unzipped I'm gonna to go to the INST pubs dot SQL file so I'm leaving those MDF files be I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna to go to the INST PUBS dot SQL file you would do Northwind if you were installing Northwind click open and at that point it's going to bring up the contents of the SQL script in your window. If you scroll down, you can see that there's a number of create table statements, which are really the gist of all database scripts. They're creating tables, they're creating columns, and later on, we can see that there's a bunch of insert statements to populate the database, none of which I'm going to modify. I'm going to go right to the top of the script I'm going to make sure that my cursor is set right at the very beginning. I'm not highlighting anything, I'm just setting the focus to the start and I'm going to click execute. It's going to churn away for a moment. You're going to see execute and query down at the bottom and at the end you should see this message that says query executed successfully. Now it's a little bit misleading because I haven't actually executed a search query but I have executed a number of SQL statements so you'll get the same generic message whatever it is you're executing. To verify that I've successfully installed the pubs database you're gonna see on the left hand side databases still doesn't list pubs as a database so what you'll need to do is right click it right click the databases node that is on the left hand side choose refresh and then right here you're gonna see the pubs database has been added. So we would follow that exact same procedure for installing the Northwind database and again I think that's a bit more of an intuitive way of doing it. Thank you.